This video, we will talk about mutually exclusive events. So mutually exclusive, this term is self-explanatory. Mutually exclusive, look at the first Venn diagram. Mutually exclusive means there A and B, they do not share anything. So there is no intersection. A and B, they are completely disjoint, right? And then there is a Venn diagram on the right. That one is not mutually exclusive because there is an intersection between A and B. So has an intersection, not mutually exclusive. No intersection, mutually exclusive. Let's take a look at the difference of the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So for um, mutually exclusive, so you have A or B, right? So that is just equals to the probability of A plus the probability of B. You don't need to minus the probability of A and B because probability of A and B is equals to zero. You don't need to subtract that zero. You can subtract that zero. That doesn't change anything. And then on the right hand side, you have intersection. So that means the probability of A or B, not A and B, A or B is equals to probability of A plus probability of B. This one you do have to subtract the intersection. That's the difference between mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive. There is a common mistake that people make all the time. Here is the mistake. People say, all right, the mutually exclusive, right? They are disjoint. That sounds like independent, right? Independent means one doesn't affect the other. Mutually exclusive means they are disjoint. All right, so I am considered two things. So one is independent event. And then the other one is mutually exclusive events. Are they the same? The answer is no, they are not related. Do not pull them together. Independent event is one topic. Mutually exclusive event is another topic. Like they are in two different worlds. Never, never, never pull them together. There is no relationship between independent and mutually exclusive, right? They are two different topics, just like math and English. Do not pull them together. All right, let's take a look at an example. I put that all the way down, so let's bring this up. Boarding a train, you woke up late in the morning that you have to run to a train station to board to change your work. The probability that you will be on board is 65%, so probability of on board is 0 0.65, right? That means you are in the train. Now, what is the probability that you will not be able to be, you are not on board either, so in a train or a bus, either you are in the train or you are outside the train, right? So in the train is 0 0.65, what about outside the train, not on board? So that will be 1 minus 0 0.65, that equals to 0 0.35. Either you are inside or you are outside. It's either in or out. Let's say in a bus, either you are in the bus or you are out the bus, right? In a classroom, either you are in a classroom or you are outside of a classroom. You cannot be inside and outside at the same time, right? Are uh, these two events mutually exclusive? The answer is yes, because you cannot be on board and not on board at the same time. So you cannot be inside and outside at the same time. So the probability of on and not on is equals to zero. So these two events are mutually exclusive. I use the word ME. M stands for mutually, E stands for exclusive. So that will be the end of this video. If you think this video is helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you really, really much. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Signing out.